Well, praise the Lord, my friends. Here we are. This is the last day of Passover, and I'm happy to be with you, happy to talk with you, to minister over you. Really, as we are finishing Passover now, the eight days of miracles, eight days of the glory of God passing by us and passing over us, I really wanted to come on live and take this time to minister over you personally and prophetically. So I want you to build a room. Let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes, amen. I had a wonderful, powerful time in South Florida and I'm happy to be back home now in LA. Honestly, it's it's great to be back here in the studio, uh, back here in this wonderful, nice seat that our, our leadership team bought us, bought me. So let me know where you're watching from. Give us a heart, a like, share, tag somebody. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to begin to prophesy over you. And I really feel just the stirring of the Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. The stirring of God's heart. The stirring of the prophetic. And who here knows we need the gift of prophecy today more than ever. And we need the word of the Lord to cut through our lives like a double-edged sword. So as you're jumping on today... It's the last day of Passover, amen. And uh, I know, I know, I know I've already released the prophetic word for May uh, just yesterday. And we're about to step into May now, amen. And it's going to be filled with fireworks, fire, glory. So let me know where you're watching from so I can give you some shout outs. But like I said today, my main reason for going live today is really to bless you uh, in the gift of prophecy, in the flow of the prophetic. Do you need a word from God? Well, obviously you have the written word, you have the word of God, the logos, but do you need a personal prophetic word of the Lord? Well, let me tell you, of course you have a relationship with God, you have Holy Spirit yourself, amen. But there's something special and supernatural when a man woman of God a prophet a prophetic voice is able to partner with the heart of God and release the mind and the heart of Jesus to you and that's the whole point of today's life I am committed to prophesying over as many people are on the live today and as many people uh, as the Holy Spirit allows me to. Amen. Now we love the prophetic. We love the Lord. We love the glory. And today is the last day of Passover. So I want to say Hag Sameach. Hag Pesach Sameach. And the month of May. As we're building up in the counting of the Omer. The countdown of harvest. Hallelujah. It's going to be an incredible countdown. So you can't put in expectation to put a demand on God put a demand on the Lord amen now I would encourage you with this if you went through some hell in the month of April get ready to reap heaven in the month of May can I talk to you today if you went through some hell in the month of April get ready to reap heaven in the month of May May is going to be a great month of harvest and reaping. Amen. So I want to declare over you a mighty mega harvest. 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Let me know where you're watching from. Thanks for all the tags and the key. God bless you. Thanks for inviting your friends and your people. Hallelujah. I'm happy to be back home in LA, back here in the studio, this spaceship chair. I feel like a pilot. In fact, one of my dreams, desires is to be a pilot. And so, Lord willing, in the next five to ten years, I'll be able to get my pilot's license. So that's another day, another time. But I'm back here in California, happy to be back home. And then this weekend, we're ministering in Santa Maria with Steve Swanson. It's going to be very powerful. All of the sessions, anointed worship, anointed preaching ministry, miracle signs and wonders. It's all going to be live on YouTube. So just be on the lookout for that. Amen. Hey there, Jerry Size, Vero Beach. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Nakia, blessings. Azair, Azami. Watch from Samoa, Talofa, Azalofas to you all. Arn, blessing from Netherlands. God bless you. Glory be to God. Demetrius, Providence, Alana, Ren, Tom, bless you. Janice Shearer, Tia, Biharamio, Candace Beam, God bless you. Wichita Falls, Texas. By the way, I'll be back in Dallas, Texas. At the end of this month, May. And I'll be back again in Dallas, Texas in July. So be on the lookout for that. Virginia in the house. Hello there, Joe. Masaro, bless you. Glory, glory. Arizona. Amen and amen. That's right, Prophet Solana. Now, Julia, Tennessee. Always love a word from the Lord. Your service at church on Sunday really made a big impact on my family. Says Missy Nera. Oh, thank you. God bless you guys. It was a powerful time. Wisconsin in the house. I'm in Durham. Harabasoto. Janice says, I have health issues. Stay on the broadcast, my friend, so we can pray with you. Amen. Sharing is caring. Absolutely. Glory be to God. Janice from Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. Well, lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for every single person that's connecting with me, this anointing that's live on a broadcast. I thank you for the spirit of prophecy, for the word of the Lord. And I thank you that every single hungry heart, hungry soul will receive from you today in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. Now, listen, people of God, if you want me to pray for you, this is what you have to do. You have to comment, pray for me, and you have to share this broadcast. All right? I'm going to begin to flow in the prophetic, and I just want to pour myself out. I, I want to be used as a vessel. The Lord does use me as a vessel, but tonight, it's strictly prophetic. Strictly prophetic. And on the last day of Passover, I felt such a need and importance for our prayer walls, prayer shields to go up, but as well to release the word of the Lord because people are hungry. People are, you know, needing a word from God, a word from the throne. Amen. So if you want me to pray for you, you have to comment, pray for me, and you also have to share. <clears throat> Amen. So as you share, I want you to come and pray for me, comma, period, shared. Because we want to reach more people. Amen. So do the work in evangelist. Tag somebody. Share. I know Sister Nakia. You definitely tag multiple people. Providence Ivana. Thanks for the love there. Suzanne. God bless you. Rebe Soko Rabasata. Lavon Luke. God bless you. All right. Keith Walker. Let's pray. I'm going to pray for you real quick. Let me just write this. Amen. But just keep praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Well, praise you, Jesus. Amen. All right, Keith Walker, let me pray for you, Keith. Um, I don't know if I've ever met you in person, but uh, I see the Lord's doing a new thing over you. God's doing a new thing. And literally, I see angels all over you, um, and I see, I see light. Like there's, there's salvation, there's deliverance, there's exposure, but you're a man of justice. And I see light all over you. And I just see a season of newness, a, a season of joy. <laughs> like, you know how we call it a joy ride? And joy ride means kind of like you're stealing somebody's car. But I see you in a joyful ride. And I see a new road, a new adventure, a new path. And I see you in the car just giggling, just having fun with God. Like, I don't, I don't know about you, but actually I do know, because God showed me, I love road trips, okay? I love road trips. One of the best road trips I've ever done is not Route 66, believe it or not. But one of the best road trips I've ever done is Pacific Coast Highway 1 from San Diego all the way up to Washington Coast. Washington, Oregon Coast, so beautiful. Wow. But I see a road trip for you. And I see a joy ride. And I just see a lot of new beginnings. I see a road map and God is saying, son, it's time for you to carve out your own path. <clears throat> What's that one um, quote? Uh, it, it goes something like, the path, oh, I, I'm butchering it, but it's a famous quote. It's by Wanderlust, I believe. But anyways, <laughs> bang, bang. So, Father, I thank you for a new journey, a new glory, a new walk, a new season. And like I said, I saw angels around you like light, salvation, and deliverance. So you are a man of justice. You're actually a knight of armor, shining armor. You're a warrior of light. A knight in shining armor, says God. God bless you. Let me know if that blesses you and makes sense. Remember, if you want me to pray for you, comment pray for me and comment shared. You must share this broadcast. Amen. You did Atlanta to LA 1988. Wow, bro, you old. I wasn't even alive then. All right, Janice Shearer, my friend, you need healing in your body. Lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for the power of God. Come upon your daughter from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. I declare you are healed. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. God, I thank you for the fire of God. Janice, let your bones, your muscles, hey, let everything about you be created new and afresh now in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Any breathing, any pain, mandere karaba. I just keep seeing like pain in your body. Like your bones are in pain. I don't know what the issue is. But Father, thank you for healing virtue. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yeah, y'all are typing the path of the least resistance. It's kind of like, uh, let me wander less the path I'm, I'm gonna find it right now <clears throat> no I'm not because there's too many quotes but anyways but y'all y'all got the point let me know sister Janice Shearer what's going on how are you feeling let me know Jerry sides Jerry sides yeah Jerry lift up your hands I just see you like hitting a wall and the Lord says breakthrough and creativity is coming to you. It's like you're hitting a financial wall. Good to see you Maggie K. You're hitting a financial wall. You've been hitting like walls on all sides. 
But there's going to be a financial breakthrough and a creative breakthrough in your life, Jerry Sides. Oh, I hear the Lord saying, have faith, have hope. Lift up your head, all you gates, your ancient doors. Lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. So I believe there's winds of change blowing over you, Jerry Sides. Shoo! The Lord wants to encourage you strengthen you you're not alone amen but every wall is going to be broken down and through and the realm of breakthrough and creativity even financial breakthrough is coming to you jerry size god bless you thank you jesus let me pray for you maggie k one of our faithful friends followers love you miss you guys yakway maggie k i just see angels dancing around you and the Lord says he's birthing a ministry. <clears throat> he's birthing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. Hallelujah. But I even see new streams of income for you. I want everyone to say new. I see new streams of income for you. Um, I see specifically three streams of income. And uh, I hear the Lord saying, trust in me, not the government. Trust in me, not your paycheck. Trust in me, not your boss. Trust in me, not in your job. But there's going to be recompense coming to you. Amen. For everything you've experienced in the last three years. In the last three years, there's going to be recompense coming to you. Hallelujah. In fact, I see right now you sitting on the bed. And it's like the angel of the Lord is just sitting next to you comforting you it's it's the lord and just comforting you sitting with you side by side on the bed hallelujah he's the comforter so in this season you're gonna feel see experience a greater wave of comfort it's flooding your room right now it's flooding your space right now the comforter has come god bless you Remember, friends, if you, uh, Timothy, Isaiah, heard my brother, man. You want me to pray for you, Timothy? Let me tell you guys, Timothy, I love and miss him dearly. But he's, I don't know how long it's been since he got married, three years now. But this brother was my first friendship open door to Hawaii, really. And, uh... He went to BSSM at Bethel School in Redding, California. He was nominated for the Earl Johnson Award, which is like the top award in his class. Outstanding man of God. Outstanding man of God. But if you want me to pray for you, come and pray for me and share. Flower Pink. Praise the Lord. Sharaba Kiarabata. Yeah, I see in the season flower pink. What a name, by the way. I'm sure it's not your real name. <laughs> but uh, I just see rest coming to you. Rest. A spirit of refreshing, joy, rest. I even saw Israel and Jerusalem for you. For there is a realm of intercession you have and you carry. Hallelujah. Come on, I want you to pray. The Holy I feel the Holy Ghost so strong right now. Jesus. I feel I see the realm of prayer and intercession very strong on you. And people come to you asking for prayer. They count on you for your prayer recovery. So, yeah, powerful prayer ministry, powerful healing ministry. So, get ready for suddenlies. And get ready for prayers, prophecies to come to pass. It's going to come to pass, says God. Somebody say amen. Remember, if you want me to pray for you, comment, pray for me, and share. You have to share, okay? And you have to comment, share it as well, all right? Um, Nikia Monique, I know I gave you a really good word the other day, but
but I see a CEO anointing. I see a Fortune 500 Forbes anointing. And this year, says God, you're going to break records. You're going to break limits. And I'm sure you do, but I hear the Lord saying this. You need to, you need to expand your goals. Like the goal for, I have a number of goals for myself and this ministry. But the goal for this ministry is to break through a certain level. And I just hear God saying, you need to up the ante. You need to have a greater demand on God and a greater faith on yourself. He says, stretch your faith, daughter. Stretch your faith. How much do you want to make this year? What do you want to accomplish this year? I just saw a book coming into your spirit. And I want to declare over you, by the end of this year, you're going to release a book in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Shana Matiara Brasata. Yeah, the road less traveled. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Timothy, I love you, my friend, my covenant brother. First and foremost, Timothy Isaiah heard, I see the favor of God, the pleasure of God. I see God's face shining down on you. And he says, son, I've given you the world. I've given you everything. Literally, as I see Abba Father's face looking down on you, shining down on you, favor open heavens, then I see literally like a massive infinite table like the matrix. And God is saying, son, I have the whole world before you. The whole world is yours. The fullness of the earth belongs to the Lord, the fullness thereof. And I just see the Lord setting up a table before you and your enemies. I believe you went to Japan recently, but I just saw Japan. You're going to have a mighty harvest in Japan. Even in the Philippines, says God. But I see the Lord setting up a massive array table for you. Hallelujah. And he's going to crown your year with bounty. There is a crowning coming, Brother Tim, a crowning, which means promotion, which means recognition. I see an award of excellence coming to you from the city. The city, the state of Hawaii, is going to award and honor you with an award of excellence. Jesus. Rebe Sokaraba. I see the train of your robe. You know the Bible says the train of his robe fills the temple. But I see the train of your robe. And the Lord says, Son, wherever you go, there will be a train of blessings. A trail of miracles. I just heard God say, faith like potatoes. Angus Buchanan. I don't know if you've ever heard of that book and movie. But it's about a, a farmer in South Africa. He's a man of God. And he uses the analogy of farming potatoes to farming souls. Oh, I feel the Lord. And the story goes, he booked this huge stadium in South Africa and slowly it began to get filled with souls. Faith like potatoes. God bless you, my brother. Dimitri Moss, hallelujah. Dimitri Moss. I just see such childlike joy. Wow. I hear the Lord saying you're in a season of innocent revival. He's reviving the innocence of your past. Reviving the innocence of the childlikeness that was taken away from your childhood. But I see like a... What, Ah, what is that? The Wizard of Oz? Some of you religious folk are going to stone me for even saying that word. But, you know, she taps the shoes, right? And I don't even know what she says. I think I can. I think I can. What is that? The, the Tonka train? <laughs> but I see you tapping your shoes. And the Lord says, you're going new places. You're going new places. In fact, I see you going from heights to heights. 
mountaintop to mountaintop. Your feet shall be like the feet of a deer. So I see you leaping from height to height, mountaintop to mountaintop. Amen. Rebe Sokoraba. So keep dreaming, says God. Keep dreaming. Keep believing. Because this is the year where even your family is going to experience recompense. Amen. Glory be to God. Rebe Sokoraba Basa. Fai en le Farao from Apia Samoa. Thank you, Lord. I just see right now, Fi, that you are in a season of consecration. You are in a season of going deeper with God, like being in the secret place. And I just see the Lord, like there's a book, one of my top five books. It's called Secrets of the Secret Place by Bob Sorge. Bob Sorge. Man, that book will wreck you. One of my top five books. But there's secrets in the secret place. And I see you just being in the secret place, Fi. And like, my gosh, the Lord's just wooing you, overwhelming you, ecstatic glory and bliss. Jesus. I remember when I lived in Tibet, China for three months. I lived in Tibet, China, the highest mountaintops of the world. Hallelujah. Rebe Soto. And when I lived in Tibet, China, I went so deep with God, literally. It was like a never-ending quiet time. Wake up at 4, 5, 6 a.m. Quiet time for three, four hours. Then in the evening, as I'm going to bed, another quiet time for two, three, four hours, just going deep with God. The Lord says, go deeper still. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you want me to pray with you, pray for you. This is the last day of Passover, my friends. And I felt a need, the urgency to present myself as a vessel to you tonight. As an oracle of God on the last day of Passover. So that the Lord will flow through me and minister to you prophetically personally in Jesus' name. Now, if y'all are receiving and being edified, I want you to say amen. Y'all people don't know how to follow instructions. I'm sorry. I'm saying, <laughs> bang, bang. Comment, pray for me, and shared. Okay? Y'all got to share. All right? Lozada Marari. Lozada Marari. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just keep hearing the song. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Da -da 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 dry your eyes. And I just see like the Lord is wooing you. God wants to date you. God wants to date you. And I see God, like, you know, this might be weird to some of you, but I'm a charismatic, okay? But God's real, amen? He's 100% real. He's more real than anything else so there's times when i'm having dinner or food alone i'll imagine the lord sitting in front of me like it's a date and we'll talk and we'll have face-to-face -face conversation over the table the dinner table so i just sense the lord saying daughter i want to date you lozada marari i want to date you amen that's a good word Thank you, Jesus. Melissa Margarita. Oh, look, you have the same uh, face as Keith Walker here, profile pic. Melissa Margarita. Oh, what a name. I love it. <laughs> Shout out, Melissa Margarita. Thank you, Jesus. I just see keys, keys coming to you. And I do see, listen, as I hover the, the mouse over your name or your face, of course, your little profile comes up. It says realtor, real estate. I really try not to look at that stuff. I just try to look at your face. I just want to let you know that, okay? But uh, Melissa Margarita, I see keys all over you, keys coming down. And I hear the Lord saying, you have the keys to my heart. In fact, I see, I believe it's your relationship with your father, where you are daddy's favorite. 
you are daddy's favorite, aren't you? And I see like your relation with your father, how special and precious it was and it is. And I see you riding horses actually. And uh, the Lord says, get back up on the horse, giddy up, giddy up. You are a true blue patriot, says God. I see you riding on a horse and I see the American flag behind you. You're a true blue patriot, praise God. And I don't know if there's military in your family, but there's something very righteous about your family bloodline, your family heritage. Keys, there's going to be new relationships, new connections. Hallelujah. And get ready for your own coaching business, says God. Amen. God bless you. Let me know if this makes sense to you all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. It's flooding my space now. Yeah, I love you, brother Timothy. I don't know if you're still on. Yeah, all the comments are coming in so much. As I'm scrolling, I'm only like halfway down the list. So my apologies. I'm I'm behind now. Haha. <laughs> bang bang. Brenda Burnaby, God bless you. I feel like I've seen you somewhere. But Brenda, uh, wow. Shaka Rebe Soto Raba. I just see you're in a season right now, Brenda, of learning. Like you're so hungry right now. You're so hungry to learn, hungry to receive. Like I just see you like learning many different things and like you really want to learn. In fact, this is my prayer for you right now. That God will send you some warrior woman and some mentors to mentor you, walk with you, pour into you. Because I see there's such a cry in your heart like, God, I want to go to the next level. Lord, I want to go to the next level. But I see you're in like an osmosis metamorphosis season right now. Like you're being formed like the clay. Hallelujah. Sharabati Rabata. Remember, learning is life. The day you stop learning, you die. So we must always be disciples of the Lord. Learning is life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sharabarabarosoto. Van Dalton Ward. Wow. Listen, I don't know you, brother. I, I think we added friends on Facebook recently, but I see you're a mighty evangelist. And I see the anointing of Daniel Kalinda over you. I see CFAN over you. I see stadiums and soul winning mass crusades. I see orphanages. In fact, I don't know if you have your own ministry, but you better start your own nonprofit. And even now, says God, he's giving you a vision and a focus for America. Yeah, you love the nations, but he's giving you a vision and a focus for America. Amen. I see the United States. God's going to open up doors for you like in Ohio, Nebraska, Kansas, Illinois, Utah, like the Midwest regions. The harvest is ripe. Go forth, my friend, in Jesus' name. This is the people of God. I got like 30 minutes max before we close, so I'm praying that your name comes up in Jesus' name. Manel Navarro. If you're enjoying this, say amen. Continue to give some hearts and likes. Manel Navarro, hallelujah. Yeah, I just see, listen, you don't even have a, a face, so, but see, this is how you operate in the prophetic, right? Because the visuals help. But that's why we lean on the Lord, on the Holy Spirit. That's how you know it's it's truly of God. But I see Manel Navarro. I see uh, you are a family person. You love family. I see a big table, a lot of food, family members all around, love feasts. Amen. 
And the Lord says, your table will never run dry. Your table will never be empty. You will never experience lack because you love to feed the poor. You love to feed the least of these. Amen. In fact, God calls you Bethlehem. Bethlehem, it means the house of bread. He calls your home Bethlehem. I see many people coming to your home, knocking on the door, and you feed them, you bless them, you receive them. People all around you in your home, in your living room. Praise God. Father, give Manel a new home, a bigger home. I don't even know where you're from, but that, you, it sounds like a Filipino name. But God is very pleased with you that you fulfill Matthew 25. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was in prison, you visited me. The Lord's very happy because all that you did, you did it unto him. Wow. Somebody say amen. My gosh. Sherry Walton, Sherry Walton, Shana Mandi I see just a righteousness over you, Sherry Walton, a righteousness over you. You are a woman of justice, a woman of righteousness. Wow, you are a warrior, and you've always known that you're kind of peculiar. You're different from the rest. You've always known that. But you love animals. You love nature. You love people. Jesus. I see the realm of health. Like there's a real health consciousness over you. Amen. Healthy living. Young living. Hallelujah. So the Lord says collect the vessels. Because the oil is going to multiply. He wants to encourage you, Sherry. Collect the vessels because the oil will multiply. Somebody say amen. Glory be to God. Jennifer Moore. Shakarabata. Yeah, I just see fire over you. The fire of God, Jennifer Moore. The fire of God. You are a person of passion. Shatata, you are a person of fire. And in this season, God's going to light such a fire in your soul. Amen. Wow. Like you're not going to stop testifying about God. You're not going to stop bragging of the Lord. Every person you meet, you're going to like share the gospel with them. It's infectious. It's contagious. But there's a fire on you, my friend. Amen. Glory be to God. Sharaba Bare Karabrasata. Tamika McCanns. God bless you. Oh, excuse me. Tamika, I see you in a car. And the Lord's actually going to give you a new car. Now, I don't know if you've been praying for a new car or you need a new car. But I see the Lord's going to give you a new car. Somebody say upgrade. And it's actually a prophetic testament of where you're going. Listen, Tamika, I don't know you. Maybe you've been on one of my webinars, but lift, lift up your hands, Tamika. Every attack against you, your family, and finances is coming to an end. Amen. Jesus, I want to declare over you right now, what God's been doing over you, Tamika, is the last three months, I, I see it's been like a stripping, a dying, a literal dying and a stripping. And it's like the Lord, the Lord closed some doors, pushed things away, bam, bam, bam. But the Lord is about to robe you with a new position of glory. With a new position of favor. Hallelujah. I declare now he's going to take you from the pit to Potiphar's house, to the prison, to the palace. And you might feel like you're in a pit right now. 
But God's lifting you up. He is your deliverer. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isotomy, it is not working. And I have pain. How do you feel now, Sister Janice Shearer? Suzanne Aleppo Dacus Donoto. Amen. Sorry if I said your name incorrectly, but Suzanne. Wow, Suzanne. The Lord loves you. And he defends you. He's your defender. He's your defender. He's your protector. And I see God protecting you. A lot of things have happened. A lot of people have tried to step down on you, look down on you, take advantage of you. But God's your defender. And he's protecting you so much more than you even know, realize, or recognize. But I see the angel of the Lord behind you, Suzette. It's the angel, Michael. He's protecting you, covering you. He's warring for you. Because he loves you. Though many people have spoken evil, negativity about and against you, the Lord speaks up for you and he defends you. God bless. Continue to share this broadcast, people of God, if you're enjoying the same. Fiki, are you our friend from UAE? I was actually thinking about you as I was praying down the list here. But Vicky Ikogo Domingo, that sounds almost Filipino though, but um, Vicky, I see the hand of God on you. You're faithful to your family. You're, you're a loyal person. You're very faithful. You have a clean heart, very pure heart. I see tears of intercession falling. Tears of prayer, intercession falling from your on your face. Hallelujah. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, that glory realm. Get ready for miracles, Vicky. Miracles all around you. Like I see you in your prayer closet, in your war room praying, and that glory realm just comes so heavy. Like oil, fragrance, honey. Jesus. Wow. You've seen many miracles, my friend. God bless you. Lavon Luke from Montana. Lavon Luke. Rababa. Yeah, I just see uh, land. Lots of land. And Lavon, Luke, I don't know if you're believing for land or if you are in some kind of title deed war. Like what I saw was a lot of land. And then I saw like there was a battle for land. And I don't know if you're in a, I don't even know what the right word is, like a title deed custody battle for land. But there's, there's a battle that God's going to win for you. Mark these words. Victory is coming to your house. Victory is coming to your home. Love on Luke. And the battle is being won in the courts of heaven. And then in the courts of earth. So I don't know if you're in some kind of court case issue battle. But victory is coming to your home. Love on Luke. Amen. Debbie Klein. Debbie Klein. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Let me pray for you, Debbie Klein. Are you all enjoying this? Amen. In fact, I should probably do this type of stuff more. But Debbie Klein, lift up your hands, sister. The Lord says lift up your hands. The Lord says surrender. Let it go. Lay it down. There are some things that you need to let go and release. And I see forgiveness coming, Debbie Klein. Forgiveness of trauma, of bitterness, of abuse, of a victim spirit.
But the Lord says to you, Debbie, you're bigger than that and you're better than that. Let it go. There's a release coming to you, my friend. Huh! Chow! <clears throat> Top of your head to the sole of your feet. There's a freedom and a joy and a healing that's coming to you. That joy is returning to you, and so is that healing and that strength in Jesus' name. Sorry, Timothy, what do you need to do? Sorry. That was a, you posted that 21 minutes ago. <laughs> Amen. 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 You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone. May my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Jesus. Somebody shout, Jesus. Yay! Sorry for my voice. I've been traveling all day and preaching for the last five days. So, Elaine. Elaine Tavalaki. Elaine Tavalaki. You must be Italian. Elaine Tavalaki. I just see creativity over you. Your hands are anointed, my friend. In fact, I bet you make some really good food. Okay, like I see your kitchen. I see your living room. My, my, my. Like you are a mama to the core and mama to the fullest. Wow. Wow. Isaiah 54, Elaine Tavalaki. Isaiah 54, look north, east, south, and west, and all these sons and daughters will come to you. And you will say, who are these sons and daughters that I have not born? Wow. You love the orphans. You love the children. You are like Mother Mary. You are like Mother Teresa. You are a mother to many. Wow. God bless you, Elaine. God bless you. Such a beautiful saint you are. God bless you. Joyce Escondor, did I meet you in Manila? You're talking about golf. Come on, somebody. Hey, friends, right now, before I go any further, I'm believing under this prophetic anointing, on the last day of Passover, the Lord's going to release some miracles in your life. Amen. So I just want to open up a time for you to bless the Lord and to honor the Lord. Amen. And I want you to sow a seed unto God. And as you sow, I want you to comment Passover miracles. Amen. But I'm actually giving... I'm actually doing you a favor and I'm giving you a blessed opportunity to bless the Lord, to respond in faith because truly the Lord is releasing Passover miracles. So I want you to comment Passover miracles as you sow a seed. Amen. And I'm going to continue to pray with a number of you personally and individually in the name of Jesus. Praise God. But if you want me to pray with you, I want you to comment, pray for me and share. You must share. You must share. Amen. Spread the love. Spread the joy. Spread the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lavon Luke, God bless you. Candace Beam Reese, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks for that pledge, Demetrius. God bless you. Thank you, Father. 
Sonia Dion, God bless you. Suita Afaat, God bless you. Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost, my friends. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. Continue to comment, pass over miracles as you sow. And I'm going to take another 15 minutes here to minister over you. I wish I had more time. I should be doing this more often. Do you agree? Do you agree? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Margaret Blakely, if you just click on the link tree link that we pinned, it will take you to the Cash App link. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I'm going to continue to minister over a number of you. Joyce Escondor, thank you, bless you. But in this moment, Maurice Cole, I'm going to pray for you, Maurice Cole. But in this moment, I want you to sow a seed. Bless the Lord. This is the last day of Passover. So get your seed in the ground. Amen. Get your seed in the ground, my friends. Thank you, Father. Amen. Sharabati Arabata. Rabba Basata. Hello there, Lisa Marie. God bless. Glory be to God. All right, Maurice Cole. Thank you, Chris. God bless you. Maurice Cole, I definitely see a prophetic anointing over you. But I hear God, Missy Brown Cole, thank you, bless you. Marilyn, God bless you. Come on, this is the last day of Passover, friends. So into the glory of God. And watch what the Lord does. Natisha Fagon, God bless you. But Maurice Cole, I see the prophetic on you. You are an eagle. And many times you like to be alone and separate. And I hear the Lord saying, do not put yourself in a box. Don't put yourself in a box. In fact, I know this might sound funny, but I just saw Michael Jackson. And Van Dalton Ward, thank you, bless you. And as I saw Michael Jackson, I hear the Lord saying that type of creativity and movement, passion is over you, Maurice Cole. Creativity, says God. And I see that as a prophetic mantle, that eagle anointing is over you, Maurice Cole. I see that there really is an entrepreneurial spirit in you, an entrepreneurial spirit. And I really believe that this year, you're going to see great breakthrough for your family, for your family. And your family is going to feed off of the overflow of your life. Like, I'm 33, but by the grace of God, I'm the main breadwinner of my whole family. And I've been able to support my family in a number of different ways. And that's what God's going to do with you, Maurice Cole. You're, you are the man of the house. You're the man of the house, says God. You're the man of the house. Hallelujah. So this is a season of launching for you, Maurice. Greater exposure, visibility, promotion. And there's a new oil coming over your head. A new oil of grace and favor. God bless you. Thank you, Lisa Cruz. All right, this gentleman here, Mr. Glenn. You, you're really pulling on me. Mr. Glenn. Glenn Brian Shackley. Glenn Brian Shackley. Pray for my wife and I. 
Um, thank you, Father. Asulu Lusu. Thank you. Bless you. Glenn Brian Shackley. I see over you, Glenn. Wow. I see a home building anointing. A home building anointing. And I see like God's given you different tools to build to do like there's this ministry in why why youth of the mission called uh homes of hope or something like that where they actually build tiny houses for needy families but i see a building anointing over you mr glenn and i hear the lord saying as for me and my household we will serve the lord so your house your home is being built on the rock and the Lord says, whatever shaking has come, whatever shaking may come and go, you shall stand strong on the word of the Lord and on the glory of God. And I really believe this season, Glenn, there's a family visitation coming to you. A family visitation. Like your whole family is going to experience revival. Your whole family. Amen. Your whole family is going to experience revival, visitation. Thank you, Maggie K. Bless you. Jesus. Nanathes and West Acre. God bless you. Thank you. What's up, Apostle Danny? Thank you, Jesus. All right, Jenny Kretz, Kretzmar. Let me pray for you, Jenny Kretzmar. I see books upon books, and I hear the Lord saying, I'm cleaning up your books, but I'm going to write some new books. There's a chapter you need to close, Jenny, and you know what I'm talking about. There's a chapter that in your life, in your book, that you must close. And I see this chapter closing and it's been hard for you to close the door on it but the lord says daughter i'm gonna open up a new book a new chapter in your life books upon books books upon books <sighs> wow i need y'all to pray right now I'm, I'm getting jesus hit right now jesus i see destiny scrolls coming down for you jenny Dreams and visions. You're a dreamer. You're a visionary. Jesus. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know? Uh, I can't see right now. But that's what he's singing over you, Jenny. Did you know there's great destiny scrolls hovering over you? Sharabarabatia. Dreams and visions. Dreams and visions. Amen. But you got to close that chapter, my friend. Don't go back. Yippity yak. Don't go back. Rebe soto ramande. Masa tarabrasa tarabroso. Apostle Danny says, what word do you have for me? What word do I have for you, Apostle Danny? The Lord says, get the seed in the ground. Because by this same time next year, you will see a great harvest. As you get your seed in the ground, by this time next year, you will see a great harvest. As the prophet told the woman of God. By this same time next year, you shall have a child. That's what God says to you, Apostle Daddy. Get your seed in the ground. Because by this time next year, 
everything's going to change. It's going to happen fast. It's going to happen quickly. Amen. Bang, bang. In fact, I even see angels of acceleration being sent and released to you right now. But get your seed in the ground. For this is a season of sowing and plowing. For this same time next year, you shall reap in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Thanks, Krishal Fagan. God bless you, Fagan. That's right, bang, bang. <laughs> well, listen, people of God, it's the last day of Passover. And I want to say God bless you. Hatsameach. We are officially in the counting of the Omer, the countdown of the Omer. And it's a countdown of the great harvest and blessing. I want to say I love you. And I'm so glad I got to minister over you, number you, number of you personally. I wish I had more time, but obviously I am a busy man. But I may have to do this type of prophetic broadcast where it's strictly prophetic. Where I just pour on myself in the anointing of God, in the spirit of prophecy, to minister to God's people. Because that's what prophecy is, isn't it? Pro the prophetic is... The gift is for encouragement, edification, and exhortation. And we need the prophetic more than ever before. We need the prophetic. So I want to thank you all for watching. I felt led to jump on on the last day of Passover to declare the word of the Lord over your life. Somebody say amen. Uh, even as we're closing, thank you all of you for sharing and watching. Make sure you like. Follow me on this page. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, social media, YouTube. Our YouTube channel is growing very much. Amen. And all of you who sowed a Passover seed, or if you would so like to sow a Passover seed, comment Passover Miracles. Click on the link. Go to our website, benlamglobal.com. Click the link tree link that's pinned to the top. Amen. I want to say I love you all. God bless you. Hak Sameach. We've passed over. We've passed through. It's a new season. It's a new day. God bless you, friends. Love you. Shalom.